This is called One Good Reason. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now, the kid with the gun said. Christ, Arrington thought. So this is what it's come to. Playing cops and robbers with a greased up little shit who's watched too many movies. Maybe this is what you get. After all, Arrington was pushing 50, a time when a lot of guys would be thinking about hanging it up. Come on, hot shot, the kid with the gun said, pressing the 9mm firmly into Arrington's temple. One good reason. This was on Cooksey, who could have called and asked what was up, and Arrington would have explained it was a misunderstanding. A shipment got waylaid in customs, and by night's end, they'd be getting drunk together somewhere, but that's not the way the game's played these days. Probably wasn't even Cooksey who made the call. I asked you a question, motherfucker, the kid with the gun said, cocking the hammer, his hand unsteady. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now. Arrington was about to tell the little shit with the flipped up hair to fuck off. He'd been on the wrong end of a gun plenty of times in his life, and one of the things he'd learned, some guys have the stones and some guys don't. And this little shit with his fuzzy lip quivering wasn't shooting anybody. Then Arrington thought about what was actually being asked. One good reason why he, Loomis Arrington, deserved to live. God damn, Arrington thought, that's a good question. <laughs> It was the timing of it all that made it bigger than just one man on his knees in an abandoned airport hangar near the Neiman's freeway, haggling over a delayed shipment. No, this was a liminal moment, a goddamn crossroads, judgment day. It can happen like that sometimes. Call it God, call it the universe, but it's a goddamn reckoning. And the thing was, when Arrington stopped to think about the question, he wasn't feeling so hot about his answer. He blamed it all on Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Arrington probably could have circumvented this whole mess had he just picked up the phone and rang Cooksey himself. Problem was, he got caught up watching a show on the History Channel at his condo last night about this guy, Da Vinci. And then it was too late. Arrington had seen pictures of the Mona Lisa and all that, but he never knew just how involved the guy's life was. This Da Vinci had his hands in everything. From building cathedrals to debating philosophy, the real kicker was Da Vinci's final words. I have offended God and mankind because my work did not reach the quality it should have. When Arrington heard the narrator say that, he just about lost it. That was some heavy shit. <laughs> Here was a man who, in addition to being one of the best artists to ever live, was also an architect, a scientist, a geologist, and an inventor. The guy developed a prototype of the first helicopter, for Christ's sakes. And if a man like that had wasted his years, what the fuck had Arrington been doing with his? Arrington had screwed up his marriage. His own son wouldn't talk to him. Fuck, even his dog Lucky had recently run away. <laughs> All the money he'd made pissed away on the various women who'd come in and out of his life, which was probably why Dolores had often split. He'd bullied and intimidated, cheated, lied, and stolen at will his entire rotten life. All because it was the road most easily traveled. Now here he was on his knees in a goddamn airport hangar on some random Wednesday morning playing 20 questions with one of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> a goddamn reckoning. Give me one good reason, the kid said again, why I shouldn't. I heard you the first time, said Arrington, turning to face the kid. If you'll shut up, I'll give you the answer. Arrington sniffed hard, sucking in the lingering fumes of a dozen grounded single-engine planes. One good reason, you little shit, Arrington began to stand. Because I can do better. And that was the last thing Loomis Arrington had to say. Ha! Yes. <laughs>